हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इट से दैट बॉल ए इज़ थ्रोन वर्टिकली अपवर्ड विद विलासिटी ऑफ वी नॉट एंड बॉल बी इज़ थ्रोन अपवर्ड्स फ्रॉम द सेम पॉइंट विद द सेम विलासिटी टी सेकेंड्स लेटर डिटर्मिन द लेफ टाइम टी लेस दैन टू वी नॉट डिवाइड बाई जी फ्राम द इंस्टेंट बॉल ए इज़ थ्रोन टू विन द बॉल balls pass each other and find the velocity of each ball at this particular instant so let's say that this ball a takes times t a to reach this particular point where they pass each other and this ball b takes some times t b when they pass each other they, and this is this particular point is the the passing point uh, so let's say that that passing point is let's say at some altitude h from that reference from which they are released so and it is said that when v a is released so initial velocity is v not and with the same velocity v b is also released so we can say that the initial velocity of v a let's say that is v a not is equal to the initial velocity of v b both are equal that is v not and let's say that uh, the v the ball a takes time t a and ball b takes time t b when they pass each other right and we can say that t a is we can say that t a will be greater than t b since the ball is the v b is uh, since ball b is thrown after t seconds later so we can say that t b will be equal to t a minus the t seconds after which the ball b is thrown so now this is the relationship between t a and t b now we will write the equations for we will consider ball a and ball b uh, one by one right so if i consider ball a so let's say that the position of ball a is let's say s s a equals to s a not plus v a not t a and that will be plus half acceleration and t a square so now let's consider that the upward direction is considered to be positive this is my positive direction so the initial position of ball a and ball b both are zero since they are released from the same point so we can say that and when they pass each other when when ball a and ball b they pass each other they are at same height h so we can say that after t a the position of ball a is at height h so we can say that s a is equal to h and s a not is 0 this this is 0 and v a not is equal to v b not is equal to v not so we can write that this is v not so you will write that v not t a and plus 1 divided by 2 and when the ball a is going upward its velocity is decreasing in the upward direction so it is deaccelerating in the upward direction with uh, with the 9.81 deacceleration so we can say that a is uh, the acceleration is minus g for both the blocks so we can say that this is minus g t a square or we can say that this is h equals to v not t a minus 1 divided by 2 g t a square now similarly for ball a if you want to find the velocity after t a so after t a the velocity of block a that is v a is equal to v not of a and plus a t a and we can say that v a and v not a is again v not an acceleration is minus g this acceleration is minus g so this is minus g t a so let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 now for ball b again for ball b we can write that s b is equal to s b not plus v b not into t b and that is plus 1 divided by 2 acceleration and t b square 
so again when they pass each other sb will be equal to h this sb will be equal to h and this will be equal to v naught and this will become zero so we can write that h equals to v naught tb and plus one divided by two and acceleration is minus g since in the upward direction the upward direction is considered to be positive and in the upward direction the velocity of ball b is decreasing so this means that in the upward direction it is deaccelerating so acceleration is equal to minus g and this is tb square now as we know that tb tb is equal to ta minus t so this is h v naught and this is t a minus t minus g this is 1 divided by 2 and t b is again t a minus t square so this is equation 3 so now if i if we solve these two equations simultaneously since they are equal to h so we can say that v a that this equation is equal to this equation so we can say that v naught T A minus 1 divided by 2 G T A square will be equal to this. So this is we can say. Uh, let me copy this. So this is equal to this. So now this is V naught. V naught T A minus 1 divided by 2 G T A square. And if I, if I multiply this inside, so this will be V naught T A minus V naught T. So this will be minus 1 divided by 2 G and this will become T A square plus T square minus 2 T A into T. So we can further simplify this. If we, if we look into this term and this term, right? So they will cancel out each other. So this will cancel out. So we will be left with minus 1 divided by 2 g t a square equals to minus v naught t and now I can multiply this inside. So this will become minus 1 divided by 2 g t a square then minus 1 divided by 2 g t square and then plus and, and this multiply by this. So 2 will cancel out. So we will be left with plus g t a into t. So now again if uh, we have this term on this side and we have this term on this side. So they will cancel out with the same sign they will cancel out. So we are left with 0 equals to minus v naught t minus 1 divided by 2 g t square plus g t a into t. So now if I divide both sides of equation by t, so this cancelled out, 1t cancelled out from here and this is cancelled out. So we are left with 0 equals to minus v naught minus 1 divided by 2g and plus g t a. So now if I if I bring this term to the other side of equation, so we will have minus g t a equals to minus v naught minus 1 divided by 2 g and if we take minus common from these two terms this will become positive minus will cancel out and we can write that g t a is equal to v naught plus 1 divided by 2 g and we can take we can write it is 2 and this will be 2 v naught plus g if we take 2 as an lcm and now if I divide both sides of equation by g, so we will have ta equals to 2 v naught. And remember that here we have that t. Here we have we have cancelled one t, right? So here we have t, remember. This is this is very important. This is t, right? So here we have t. So this is t. So this is uh, 2 v naught plus g t divided by 2 g. If we divide both sides of equation by g. So now this is the time taken by ball A to pass that ball B. So now we have we have equation 2. We have this equation V A equals to V naught minus G T A. So, 
so we can write that v a equals to v naught minus gta so this will give us the velocity of ball a after t a when they will pass each other right so v a is equal to v naught minus g and t a so this is t a so this is 2 v naught plus g t divided by 2 g so now this equation can be written as v a equals to v naught minus g 2v0 divided by 2g plus gt divided by 2g so this 2 will cancel out and this g will cancel out so we can write that va equals to v0 minus g v0 divided by g plus t divided by 2 and now if we multiply this minus g inside so we will have va equals to v0 minus v0 minus gt divided by 2 so now this cancel out and we are we have va equals to minus 1 divided by 2 gt so now as we have we have considered that the when the particle is moving in the upward direction that is the positive direction and since we got minus sign so this means that va magnitude is 1 divided by 2 gt and after t a ball a is moving in the downward direction so the negative sign stays as the direction of va Similarly, we know that Vb, the velocity of ball B after times Tb will be equal to Vb equals to v, Vb0 and plus At and this is Vb equals to Vb0 and we, we, we know that Vb0 is equal to V0, right? So, so this is V0 and the acceleration is minus G and this will become, this will be Tb. So this is, now we know that Tb is, Tb is Ta minus T. So now we know Ta, where is, this is Ta, this is Ta, 2V0 plus Gt divided by 2G. So now from this I can write that Va is 2V0 plus Gt divided by 2G minus t so now we can write this as 2 v naught divided by 2 g plus g t divided by 2 g minus t so this will cancel out so we will and this g will cancel out so this is v naught divided by g plus t divided by 2 minus t so this is v naught divided by g and and these two terms will give us minus t divided by 2 so this is t b so now let's substitute this tb in this equation so that will give us the velocity of that ball b after time tb when they will pass each other so vb equals to v naught minus g and tb so tb is v naught divided by g minus t divided by 2 so this is v naught and now we need to multiply this minus g inside so this is this will give us minus v naught and minus into minus is plus gt divided by 2 so this is vb these two terms cancel out so vb equals to plus 1 divided by 2 gt so now after t equals to tb the velocity of block b is half gt magnitude is half gt and we got plus sign so this means that vb is moving in the upward direction so from this when both the balls are crossing each other va ball a is moving downward with the same magnitude of half gt and ball b is moving upward with a magnitude of half gt and the time both the ball take to pass each other is equal to this this is 2 v naught plus gt divided by 2 g so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe my channel if it helps in your learning